This isn't Bethlehem. Well, we've heard the words, good tidings of great joy. So now we've got a scrounge to get our kids some toys. Somehow it's all about a boy, a baby boy born in Bethlehem. We've heard it again and again. We get the rent to own furniture flyers with pictures of wise men. But this isn't Bethlehem. Out here we don't hear no angel choirs, just traffic and some squealing tires. And there aren't no shepherds keeping watch around campfires. Come to think of it though, we've got some shepherds, some folks labeled liars. If the drunks outside the Yale or the gangsters in jail or the kids at 7-Eleven saw the shining hosts of heaven, who would believe them? Who would follow these witnesses to go searching for a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a CFS hotel room? This isn't Bethlehem. So where is the Messiah? Where is the Lord? We've got so many messiahs, it's hard to know where to start. Their campaign signs dot the lawns like art. And our saviors come in church vans to serve us pop and hot dogs every time they get the chance. And lords, there's lots of them. Landlords, lenders, lawyers, and more. They decide your life when you are poor. Who gets a job? Who gets your kids? Who gets to have keys that open a door? Mary and Joseph, would they understand what it's like to be homeless in the heart of your homeland? This isn't Bethlehem. And Christmas time for some of us around here can get so sad and lonely that the choice is only more pain or more beer. No, this isn't Bethlehem, but could we still hear the holy angels saying, do not fear? And if it's all about a baby, could we hear about a beautiful brown baby boy who knows our fears and hurts and joys? A Lord who receives our gifts, who receives our little drummer girls and boys. There's been so many words, so much noise. So if this isn't Bethlehem, then the word we need, the word that frees us, is God writing, I am here, I know your tears, in the flesh of Jesus.